Red Bull has opened up about the 2025 season and it looks like the team has already rung the alarm bell that things are not going to be the same as they were in the previous years of the current regulations. With other teams catching up and with Verstappen now finding it very hard to win races, can we see a massive change for the Dutchman's career? And if so, can Red Bull be the facilitators for that with the 2025's version of their car? It's safe to say that Red Bull have found it very hard to win the championship in the drive category and the fact that they've lost the lead in the constructors championship and are likely to finish third goes to show where they currently stand as a team Perez performance is hurting them massively but nevertheless Verstappen's drought to win has shown that the RB20 is all but competitive and had it not been for the Dutchman's craft and at the first five races of the season we would have likely seen another champion in the drivers category as well and this is something that has been stressed by the technical director to Pierre Wash, who states that he's not optimistic for 2025 because if he enters into an optimistic mode then the team will automatically feel comfortable and will lose performance. Although many labelled this as a wrong mindset to have because it puts your team in a mental disadvantage before the season has even started, Red Bull might be aware that the departures of Newey, Wheatley and Courtney, as much as they admit do not hurt and can be replaced, are going to leave a massive dent from 2025 onwards. Elaborating on this to a greater extent, Wash said, I think we are happy with what we have done quickly. I'm not confident for 2025. I'm not confident because I think the others are very quick or are there. It will be a fight for the full year. If you have confidence in this business, you are dead. You have to work hard and everybody in the team has to work hard. Everybody is working hard. When you see the number of people we have trying to find a very small amount of performance and add everywhere, it's a very difficult task. I have a lack of confidence because if I have confidence, you go to sleep, you don't go to work, and then you don't find performance. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the fact that Verstappen has won the championship with the third fastest car on the grid is something that has been done twice in the history of Formula One in 1982 and 1983 by Keke Rosberg and Nelson Piquet respectively. But of course, there are tons of other factors that we are witnessing that Red Bull is an all but positive mindset right now, such as the situation with Perez. Even though Verstappen is keen to have the Mexican driver as his teammate from 2025 onwards, that might not be the direction in which the team will move forward. And when talking about this, Marco said that the team will have a shareholders meeting in which they will decide about the Mexican driver's future. Furthermore, the Austrian said there will be a meeting after Abu Dhabi and the result of this meeting will be presented to the shareholders and they will then decide what the driver situation for both teams will look like for next year. I don't know the exact gap now but I think Checo has over 200 points less than Max and then it's clear that the constructors title is no longer possible. If Sergio was anywhere near Hamilton and Russell or Ferrari or even McLaren then we would be well ahead again. However what's worth mentioning is that Red Bull have regressed a lot with the development of their car as well and while Perez performance cannot be put solely on the car's underperformance the situation is loud and clear the car is not where it needs to be and Verstappen has been stating this now for quite some time as well his father who has been well outspoken in the last couple of months has opened up on this question yet again saying that if Red Bull want to see Verstappen as their driver in the next season as well they must find out what is wrong for 2025 and make immediate immediate changes to the car. Furthermore, the father of the four-time world champion stated, at least the team knows where the problems are and what needs to be changed. Now it's up to them to show how well they understand and what they are creating. I want to see it first next year. We started this year very well and then it only slipped. It's not up to the team to show how they are going to be next year. Red Bull are not running the fastest car at the moment, otherwise Max would be winning races. For next year, some things have to happen for them to be competitive again. It it also shows again how Max handles it and how strong he is. It's quite difficult for Red Bull to understand where the issue lies with their car, but what is positive for the 2025 season is that the third place in the Constructors' Championship will give them a lot of time to spend in the wind tunnels and the CFD facilities. And while the prize money is going to be reduced, they might not worry about that too much because they have Carlos Slim and his 
thick checks that are covering for Perez underperformance. Still, the future of Verstappen is hanging in the air. And now that the combination of Honda and Aston Martin, as well as Newey being hands-on involved in the project that should rejuvenate the team to the point of competing for the championship, goes to show that maybe the Austrian team would be smart to think outside of the box when it comes to the four-time world champion. Of course, Verstappen has stated his loyalty to Red Bull in the previous period, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be with the circumstances that are not going to suit his driving style. Therefore, if the car is not there and if the performance of the car is showing massive flaws and fluctuations like it did in the 2024 season, we should be betting on a move of Verstappen outside of Red Bull. This is something that his manager has talked about as well. And when addressing the future of the Dutchman, Vermeulen said that the priority is to be competitive. If they are not competitive with Red Bull, then all of the cards are open and the Pandora's box of questions and options will be presented in front of the Austrian team. Furthermore, Verstappen's manager said if he has the material, he will execute his job. But in the end, a lot can happen. You can have a safety car, you can have a crash, you can be unlucky like in Miami with a safety car. So it is good that it is done and dusted. Max is at the peak of his career. So if he has the material, he will deliver. But of course, 2025 will be more competitive. All the teams will be there. The car is at the end of its evolution since it is the last year for the regulations so everyone will give it a go, even us as well. We will see where the performance is. Max wants to have the best performance package for the moment. We have four championships here. We are loyal to Red Bull, but of course we want to keep going and we need a competitive package. There should be some changes in the team headed into the 2025 season and for starters, drivers like Lawson and Tsunoda are eager to prove their worth and show what they are made of if they start in the RB20. Tsunoda himself said that he is ready to go head-to-head -head against Verstappen, labelling him as a monster and sent a fierce message to Red Bull that his goal is to keep destroying drivers that they are sending to him in racing balls so that he can prove he is worthy of being considered as a replacement of Perez. Nevertheless, he's not part of their academy like Lawson and that is hurting their chances to sign him massively because if we are to look at the greater picture, Red Bull are likely to promote someone from within, not just to score more points in the Constructors' Championship, but also to cover themselves from a potential dent that Verstappen would leave with his departure. With all this in mind, do you think the Red Bull will have issues headed into the 2025 season? And more importantly, do you think that there is a scenario in which the Austrian team will lose Verstappen's services in the foreseeable future? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in the massive changes in Qatar for this year's GP, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.